Will Fallout 5 take place in New York? So this is more of a hypothetical video. I don't really know where Fallout 5 is going to take place. I actually made a video on this topic not too long ago, though. It did really well. A lot of you guys really liked some of the evidence I put forward. But one of the places I almost instantly ruled out was New York City. A lot of people ruled it out. And also, just a quick side note, one of the inspirations for this video was a Reddit thread with the same title. I was reading through it and it kind of just sparked a few ideas, so I figured I'd talk about it. I will have it linked down below if you'd like to have the same process. Regardless, back to the idea will fallout 5 take place in new york most people say no because in the fallout lore all the major cities were hit really hard i actually think there's a clip from one of the older fallout games of new york getting bombed specifically it was like a cutscene in one of the games the main reason new york was supposed to be hit the hardest is its location of a lot of different kind of assets for the u.s government notably the united nations and just it's a big city with a very high population density it makes sense for that to be a major target of an enemy but i do want to be specific here it only said new york was hit the hardest. It didn't say it was a giant crater, it didn't really say anything beyond that. Although a lot of people do kind of perceive this as, okay, so there's nothing left, that's not necessarily true. And that kind of got me thinking, well, what about a kind of half or mostly apocalyptic New York? A place where things are mostly destroyed, most of the major skyscrapers and buildings are knocked down, but things on the ground level are still going a-okay. Or at least have started to rebuild now that it's been hundreds of years following Fallout 4. One of the reasons this really seems like a interesting idea to me is one, New York is a huge Hugely notable location. I myself am from New York, although Long Island, not New York City. Fallout 4 did get it to the masses. Before then, although Fallouts were popular, they weren't that popular. A post-apocalyptic New York setting definitely would get people looking and buying this game simply because of the location. They don't have to know anything about Fallout 4. And then even the fact that Fallout is an already really well-established brand probably means this will be a bestseller without even trying that hard. The game could suck and people would still buy tons of copies simply because of the setting. I mean, like really, what, what does Boston have? The Red Sox? Yeah, cool. Regardless, this actually allows me to address one of my other concerns or one of the concerns some other people did have that it simply isn't possible given the hardware available at the time, that being right now. The few city locations we did get in Fallout 4 had massive frame drops. I personally play with a 1080 at 1440p and I myself experienced some different frame drops. Although this was with a ton of graphical mods, it still isn't really acceptable for that kind of thing to be going on. The engine behind Fallout and Skyrim is the creation engine. It's pretty old at this point, so I see two kind of possible outcomes. Comes. First and foremost, that Bethesda maybe releases another remake of Fallout 3 or New Vegas, similar to how they did with Skyrim, to hold people over, and then a few years down the line, they release Fallout New York with a brand new engine. Or they just really make New York a proper post-apocalyptic setting where there aren't massive cities. I think either of those are very plausible and possible. That doesn't guarantee it's going to happen, but again, I think it definitely makes it so the idea of New York can still be entertained, and that doesn't instantly roll it out. So now that we kind of got over some of the humps as to maybe why New York wouldn't be plausible, what about some of the reasons that it would be really cool? Well, first and foremost, I think New York has a lot of kind of stereotypical, I guess sections is the best way to describe it. Places like Times Square, Wall Street, the major bridges there, Yankee Stadium, Central Park. There's a lot of really distinct locations that everyone will recognize, but even beyond that, really cool locations that could have cool factions associated with them. Little hives of people that have developed their idea and really culture around that location and could play a pretty big role in the game. Think the Minutemen in Boston, where the revolution did take place, or even the railroad that also were all underground. I think there's a lot of different opportunities here in New York for that kind of thing, and I feel like it's aspects like that that really make some of the different Fallout games really feel cool in their different locations. Although the Minutemen were kind of lackluster in execution, I definitely think the idea of their faction was really cool. It would have been cooler if they had maybe more unique armors and even some more unique weapons outside of the single weapon they got. And then really, again, at the end of the day, I just think a lot of people would jump at the idea of a post-apocalyptic game taking place in New York. Seeing how society is rebuilding, how some of the different locations are being used by these new members, I think it could be a great opportunity for Bethesda and Fallout as a series. And honestly, I could sit here and talk for an hour about how many different cool ideas could be executed there. Regardless, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this idea? Do you want Fallout 4 to take place in New York? I mean, yeah, put simply, I'm a little biased because again, I do live in New York, but I think it would be awesome. I would really love to play that game and I think a lot of other people would too. But with that, I'll see you guys all next time. Later.